Hey guys, how you guys been doing today? It's good. So, today, uh, I want to make a very uh, important video, talk about uh, the limitations you have when it comes to films. Or, you know, horror, or, you know, whichever type of uh, film you want to do. But first of all, before before I want to talk about the huge uh, elf, elephant in the room, today is Christmas. Well, it's not yet Christmas, but it's Christmas, so shut up. So, yeah, it's Christmas, and I'm super excited. And um, <clears throat> very soon, and we're going to reach the, uh, to 2021. So... Hopefully, it won't be that bad, but I doubt it. <clears throat> so, we'll see. Okay, so, to put, uh, to talk about, uh, the elephant in the room, a YouTuber named Dolly Flesh, if you didn't, if you don't know who he is, don't look up his YouTube channel, you would probably be scarred, but in case you're wondering, uh, who he is, I'll tell you. Dolly Flesh is basically a YouTuber who likes to, uh, create, he creates some, uh, very graphic, gory claymations, and it's very over the top, and it reminds me so much of Martyrs, or, uh, Cannibal Holocaust, or Siberian film, how they're very over the top, very gory, uh, not half the entire movie, I'm just saying some parts of it, it's just over the top, and so crazy, that's, like, very gory, and just really too disturbing for a lot of audience, even for me, damn, like, come on, I, I like, I like this type of thing, like, I can, you know, I like gore and stuff, I like violence in films, but not where it hits to, like, over the top, you know what I mean? Not where it hits the point where it's a, a baby getting boiled after being removed, you know, from a pregnant lady. It's like, dude, no. That's pretty much what uh, he does, is create claymations and stuff. Of uh, these individuals, like, killing the absolute, killing the, like, killing the shit out of these people. Uh, yeah. There's some parts of uh, claymation of the videos are actually pretty good. I would give him a little credit that he makes sculpts them pretty good. Uh, especially this one video, I forgot the one was called, but it's just like a, a minute, a minute long uh, video. Uh, but it's pretty good because I just love how the way the, all the uh, the sculpting of it it pretty good. And but yeah. So, and then put the, uh, talk about, uh, a thing, what the issue was, too, that also, not only, uh, he create very gory claymations that would disturb anyone, but he also, uh, actually, uh, I think he, I believe he, uh, pretty much kill his, uh, three ham, or, no, wait, was it three hamsters? Yeah, uh, his hamsters. Uh, it, you uh, check out, uh, this one guy, uh, Bear something dude, I'll put, uh, a link of, in his, of his YouTube, I'll put, uh, like, his name of his YouTube channel, and you can see the full details of there, uh, he, he makes some pretty good videos, I just discovered that, uh, a couple of months ago, I made it now, because I want to get this over with, uh, to talk about, uh, this whole thing, and the situation, uh, that really, that does not help for anyone, you know? Uh, so, he not only, uh, did all that, but he's also, uh, his channel's still up, you can still watch his videos, and it's not demonetized, it's, it's a little strange, but I think some of them are, but it's still, that doesn't matter, it's still not okay, though, but, uh, whatever, anyways, uh, so basically, uh, this um he also talk about um getting a girlfriend specifically white uh a goth gf whatever and so it's like oh boy <sighs> mm. that sense of uh i could smell the egoness of uh or that stereotypical edgy guy uh you know that that have a that have a person that likes to comment a, a weird or like disgusting shit like say shit in someone's backpack for 10 minutes straight 
It's like, okay. And it's like saying, yeah, I'm the messed up people ever in this comment section. Yeah, I, I bet you are. I bet you're one of those people that still live with their mom. Uh, and, he's like, and the mom's like saying, okay, hey, son, today we have tear tots for dinner. Oh, boy, tear tots. You better run those carpet stairs. You better run, uh, get those with your little pajamas. Your, uh... Urkel's uh, pajamas. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> oh man, but yeah, he looks like the kind of individual who he's just really weird. Um, I, I don't think uh, he is the type of he's uh, like the intellectual that will cause real uh, horrendous acts. But I don't know because he did abuse hamsters, so I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but. I wanted to put this uh, in the disclosure that doesn't mean you make a disturbing horror film or disturbing claymation that does not mean it's a good horror film or a good movie. Y you basically make it not watchable at this point. Like, that's the huge difference. I don't care what you do. Just please, please have a line. Like, draw the line somewhere. Like, I always have the line somewhere. I would never have an incident where I'm going to have a baby getting, like, eaten. I'm not going to show a fucking getting a baby getting smashed, you know, with a sludge hammer. And, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that because that's just, that's, no, that's my draw the line. I do not, you know what I mean? I would not show, you know what I mean, any sex scenes because I don't consider that as a good, a proper way of filming. It's not clever. It's just a waste of time. And clean rape scenes. No. That's where I draw the line. Do the aftermath of it. And show this person's reaction of that. You know, the incident. Don't show it. It it just won't work. You just like, you just like disgust people. You're like, what the fuck? Okay. A great example is, is the, uh, the girl, the girl hit with the dragon tattoo. We're literally showing a girl getting violently raped. Like, okay, is this thing really necessary? Uh, because I would, I would love to see it in, in the aftermath. But it's okay. But whatever. Uh, like, you know, I have been... You know, that's where I draw the line. I never want to record anything that's too graphic or too out there. You know what I mean? Like, I'll never do anything like that. It's disgusting. However, if you want to create a scenes that are disgusting and horrific, don't even show it. In fact, create do the opposite. Have the person came in this room that, stum that these people stumble upon and just record their reaction. Like, they can't even comprehend what the fuck they just saw. You know what I mean? It's hard to even process this disgusting thing they have just saw. And... It's so bad that they, you know, they have to take therapy and, you know, stuff like that. It's just perfect. It's the fear of the unknown or crazy things abstract, not fully harnessed, uh, hard to uh, put detail in, you know. Or you can show the image, just make it show like little flashes of it or show the reflection of it through, through these people's eyes. Like, that's really, like, clever filming making like that. That's, you can do it. It, it works. But, yeah. Uh, I want to do that because I want to create this video. Uh, it's going to be a quick, it's a quick video. So, it won't be a long like the others. Uh, I just want to keep you up to the speed. Uh, so, I will, I am making another movie. I'll give you a little glimpse of the project. I know, my room is super messy, but, you know, I'll try, I'm doing everything I can. I've been, just been really busy with work and stuff. Uh, Walmart, holy God, it sucks <laughs> when it comes to customers. I don't mind if it's busy or not. I'm just, I mind it, I do mind, what I do mind is I'm by myself and there's nothing, you know, that nothing's want to work with me here. You know what I mean? So, I hope you guys really like this video. If you do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment whatever you want. If you com if you comment, uh, what else you think? Uh, that'd be a great way to express, like, the horror of it. Or, you know, 
that don't go overboard or you know what I mean let me let me know whatever opinion you want or you think this video is shit you think over the top gore is uh is over over the top gore disturbing the fuck out of people to the point that you can't even it's not watchable anymore okay then that that's fine because apparently your movie suck guy uh thinks tomorrow is, is an underrated masterpiece horror masterpiece first of all uh, shut the fuck up it doesn't doesn't mean you have very violent gory uh scenes graphic imagery that does not mean it's a good horror film does it mean anything? You can create very gory, disgusting things, but just to remember, just keep it where to not like draw the line. Uh, just make sure to keep it like specifically tone, not tone tone, but just make it where the audience will watch it. You know what I mean? Because not a lot of people will watch it. I don't want. I will not watch Martyrs. I don't care how many people will convince me to watch it. I will not risk myself to, to feel like I'm going to die. Because uh, I already watched Siberian film and Cannibal Holocaust. Oh my god. Siberian film was the worst film. That really fucked me up. I don't care what people say. I'm not going to rewatch it. And I will not watch Martyrs and I will not watch other films. I do not care. Besi over the top gore and disturbing the fuck out of the audience to the point where they can't even rewatch it again. No, that's not fun. That's not a fun, entertaining film. I don't care what people say. And your movies suck. I'm, I love you, but please, <laughs> there's other thing. There's other horror films that can that are better, way better than Martyrs. Now, come on, guys. Like, I rather watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre than watching than watch Siberian film and Martyrs or whatever. Because this film. It scares the fuck out of me. It haunts me. Yeah, it doesn't have good character development. Yeah, the story's basic. I don't care. I love the family. I love the settings that take place. I love the the gore. The like the body parts are like strapped on the chairs and stuff, like bones and stuff. I love it, and I love the sound, the sound effects, the soundtrack. Everything was perfect. I love the ending. It was good. I loved it. So yeah. Anyways. So, I hope you guys really like this video. Alright. Just to remember, guys, that make some really good films. Go out the range. And remember what Stan Lee once says. Don't let some idiot talk you out of it. Just to remember that there always be a balance, though. You always must have balance. To order to make a good film. Alright. Bye-bye.